welcome to the second episode of season seven of Inspiration. That's my podcast about knitting and yarn dyeing. I'm very glad to be with you for another episode. So thank you. If you're new to the podcast, this is a podcast about knitting, yarn dyeing. My name is Christelle. I'm an indie dyer and knitting designer and I uh, have a podcast up every Monday afternoon at 5 p.m. Paris time. I have a newsletter I'm sending out every Monday at 5 p.m. at Paris time. And there's a shop update usually on Mondays. There is one today and this one is pretty exceptional because it's the first time that I've been able to do that. It's to dye again the 24 minis of the advent calendar I uh, made for 2023. I've had a lot of requests uh, asking me to dye the minis again for each advent calendar I've put on the market since 2021. Uh, I've never been able to do that because because I never had the uh, chance to have enough time to do that again. And, you know, um, uh, dyeing minis and especially reskinning minis, not reskinning, but skinning up minis can be a bit of harrowing. Um, so never had a chance to do that before. Never said yes. This time around I had quite a few uh, requests to do that again. And because now we are two, I'm not uh, working alone anymore. There's Michelle and I. Uh, I've been able to do that guys so I'm going to die there next week and if you are uh, interested I'm going to offer uh, this kit of minis that's the advent calendar I put together for 2023. 24 minis, 24 colors. It's the kit you need to knit the Cosy Mystery Call if you've watched the channel for the past uh, month or so you cannot have missed it. It's the call that I was in the mystery advent advent mystery call for the month of December okay so that's a kit to knit your own uh, cozy mystery uh, call uh, this is in the shop I have 24 of them 25 sorry 25 kits uh, of um, 24 minis sorry got uh, confused about a, a minute there and it's in the shop now Okay, um, and if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much. I hope you're doing well. It's a bit late in the podcast, but anyway, <laughs> better late than never, okay? Um, so just a quick debrief about my first week working with another person in the studio. It's been a blast, okay? I've never dyed so much yarn since I started dyeing. I, I have to let you guys see what I did with Michelle. <laughs> so so many skins guys like look at that look at that all that all that is for the pop-up shop next Saturday at Surinfil uh, in Orsay so everything here there and it's not even all guys because I have some remaining from Brussels uh, that's towed away in the uh, in in uh, my luggages uh, in my cupboard uh, and I still have some yarn dye drying for uh, that I have to sign up and label for sur un fil but I'm almost there so uh, that's the great great thing about not being uh, not being alone anymore I have so much more yarn <laughs> with me guys to put in the shop to put uh in the pop-up shops in on the festivals that's so cool so cool so here we are back in my podcast nook okay so much yarn so much yarn that's great i'm so happy and what i wanted to thank you for also is that you know I've been taking a risk. I, I've been taking a leap of faith because uh, I've recruited someone. I've bought, so pardon my French, a shitload of yarn to dye. Okay, I, I've doubled my quantities with my suppliers. Um, I've dyed a, a storm. Okay, and I've put, I've doubled the quantities in the shop update last week. And you guys were up to it. Okay, thank you so much. Everything went out so fast, although it was double the quantities. So I'm so happy, guys. Thank you so much. It's a huge relief because it was a risk, okay? Um, Michelle knew everything about that. I told her we're going to try it out. I've got strong signs that there is a demand. Uh, everything goes 
off the shelves so fast usually and I've got a lot of messages asking me to do custom orders and I'm not able to you know satisfy the demand so there's strong strong signs that this could be the right move but you guys confirmed so thank you so 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 much thank you so much so and I'm very happy to take tricot stitch uh, still a bit much more you know farther along the way uh, I've got this feeling that we've um, stepped up and it, it is so good it feels so good so thank you okay thank you so much um, so yeah this week it's been awesome because you know I'm so used to working alone I'm also used to listening to myself quite a bit maybe a bit too much sometimes <laughs> when I'm not feeling up to go to the workshop because I'm a bit tired or I have things to do at home or maybe too much admin I have to catch up on and so uh, I think that previously I was quite flexible on my working time and I could be dying at odd, at odd times of day uh, maybe sometimes at night uh, just to catch up because I always always felt I was you know running after time and all and um, this new organization is completely different because Michelle is here every day from 9 to uh, 1 p.m and so she's here and I need to be there as well there is no cutting corners I have to be there and so I've been dying consistently uh, this week from 9 to 9 a.m to 1 p.m every day and uh, I've been doing my part and <laughs> We had a huge amount of snow for us on, on Tuesday, which has, had not ha happened uh, in my corner of the world since like four or five years, okay? And the thing is, when it snows in France, like when it's not on the mountains, it's like, you know, uh, you know, in the cities and all, everything is paralyzed, okay? You can't take your car. If there is no more uh, buses to take the kids to school. Everything stops. Okay, we had 10 centimeters, like it's four inches of snow uh, in one night. The whole area stopped. Everything stopped. Okay, there was not market, no market this morning in Brogli because people couldn't get the fresh fruits and vegetables from uh, the big marketplace in Paris earlier this week. Um, everything stops, guys. Okay, so for two days. Um, no school, no bus, no nothing. And I told Michelle, you know, don't, don't drive, it's a bit dangerous, just at home. It's not a problem if we skip a day, it's not uh, an issue. And she, told, she was like, mm, okay, okay. And then at 1pm she called me and she told me, okay, I managed to go out of my yard. So if you uh, want, we can meet at the workshop and do our dying station as we planned. I was like, mm, okay, let's do this. <laughs> I didn't want to. I wanted to stay home, and cuddling under the covers, and you're watching a movie and knitting. But uh, anyway, okay, let's do this. So, so much discipline, so much discipline. So it's not the same thing as working alone, definitely. And it's far better, far better. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to show you my progress on the shawl version of the classy mystery pattern. So this is the shawl. This is clue, the equivalent of clue four. Um, I'm at the point in the pie shawl where I doubled my stitches and we're close to 400 stitches on the needles right now so it's going to be a bit it's going to go a bit slower but what do you think guys I kind of dig it I like it I like it very much okay so I was not sure sure about you know this neon coral I wanted to have a pop of color definitely but I wasn't so sure because I hadn't used it well, last time I showed you, it was here, I guess. So I hadn't used that color in any other section, but now that I used it in section three, I'm enjoying the look and the, the color choices. So I'm happily, happily knitting on this, you know, going steady. Um, my objective was to finish this, this section by by, by this Wednesday, we're Thursday, so not so, I finished that last, evening yeah yesterday evening um i want to be finished with the next section by sunday night so totally doable two days two days and a bit more so i can do it i've not written the pattern yet for the uh, in terms of pattern i'm here here 
So I still have a bit of pattern writing to do, but it's really adapting the existing pattern, really. Um, I still have things to, you know, put. I, had to t I have to change most of the charts, though, because I have to include the side increases. Um, so I, and I have to change from working in the round to working uh, back and forth. So I'm actually redoing the, uh, the charts. <laughs> Anyway, still enjoying this, uh, pretty much still in love with the whole thing. Um, yeah. And that's it for this week, guys. Uh, thank you again so much. Uh, I'll see you next week, okay? And if you're around, don't forget pop-up shop in Orsay on Saturday from 10 to 7 p.m. Uh, at Surinfil. 